everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and this is Nadine. And we are incoming second year optometry students. Um, today we're gonna do a video on our second semester of optometry school. I did a video on my first semester, and you guys seem to really like it. So we're coming back with part two. And I brought a guest. <laughs> So our second semester, we took different classes that built on our first semester's classes. So what we took is Optics 2, Ocular Anatomy, Vision Science 2, Optometry 2, Community um, Health, mm -hmm, and General Pathology. General Pathology. And then we took four labs to go with that. And we took Clinic Lab, Ocular Anatomy Lab, mm -hmm, Optics 2 Lab, and Ophthalmics Optics, Optics Lab. All right, so our second semester is um, really interesting because we got to dive deeper into optometry. Um, we got to hit the surface of like surface level optometry with um, ocular anatomy and vision science. We learned a lot more, and optics was more like eye focus and like uh -huh, learning about like lens and like magnifiers and all that stuff. Because the first semester I felt was very broad, like yeah, it was broad general. sciences. The second one is broad yet it has to do with optometry. Oh, and another helpful class that we took was clinic too. Mm -hmm. We learned the basics in the first semester, so like this semester we ended up learning like more difficult subjects like doing BIO, so basically kind of using an instrument to help us look the back of a person's eye, patient's eye. Um, we also learned how to use simulators to help us get practice doing that. We also learned how to do direct um, ophthalmoscopy, which is a really nice experience and when you get there hopefully if you do you'll realize you have to get super close to the patient to do it which might seem a little awkward at first if i have a picture i'm going to insert right here because you are getting like very close super close very like, uncomfortable than close. this yeah so you're gonna have to get used to it but you can see a lot whenever you do you can like go in and see like the optic nerve or the macula as well so mm -hmm. it's really cool it's a it's a fun experience in clinic too. And we got to dive deeper into retinoscopy because last semester all we did was check spherical mm -hmm. and now what we do with a schematic eye, it further represents a actual human's eye because you know human have different refractive errors such as astigmatism and such like that. We got to do retinoscopy on schematic eyes that better represent that. And we also are in ophthalmics optics lab where we got to learn how to read the lenses and get into the optical side of yes. optometry. So that was really neat. Yeah. Um, for optics lab, we kind of did what we did last semester. It was, it was very kind of, similar, but it was a fun lab. Yeah, it was basically like a physics lab. Yeah. You just like you're in a group and then you just do the experiment and then you analyze the data. It was very basic to that. Yeah. And then we had. Um, Ocular anatomy mm -hmm. lab, that was kind of tough. Um, you really have to memorize and kind of know everything really well, but it's very, very useful. Like You don't want to blow off that class because, I mean, it's all about the eye, and that's kind of <laughs> what our profession is, so you want to yeah. focus on that class. But it was really interesting. All right, so now we're going to be talking about how we took notes in class because I changed my way of taking notes this semester, but Nadine takes paper notes. I do. Mm -hmm. I um, go online, print out all of the lecture notes that were posted by the professor or that they were going to go over in class, and I like to print it and then write down like actual notes that they talk about in class. I usually don't write down what's already on the slide, but I write down everything else not on the slide that they might mention. Um, I did invest in a laser printer because I, I knew I was going to do that kind of style this year, at least for my first year. I'm thinking about doing it again for my second year, but I might actually go electronic and get my computer and start writing on it instead without having to print out so much paper. But it was useful because to me, writing notes down kind of helps me memorize it then and there. And it was a good way for me to study. I'd get home, I'd study the slide and whatever extra stuff I wrote down and then I'd be feel like I was confident and ready for the exam. So. Yeah, and also when you write notes, you like memorize it better. Basically, yeah. yeah. So why did you decide to go from paper to electronic? It was printing a lot of paper, yeah, a lot Nadine of ink. Yeah, Nadine was used, she I was, was like using printing a lot. Yeah. all of those in colors too. Yes. <laughs> so that yes. was like crazy. And I mean, it's worth the investment if that's what you like, but it was getting to be a lot. And I feel like going like electronic is more useful because you can refer back to it in the future. If you're trying to look for a lot of paper, it's kind of harder. And then doing like control search. Control F is so much easier. We can't do that on paper, but you can do that on the computer. So. I and might guys, end up Nadine is that. not kidding. Her I'm notes not. are like, she, it'll be like a note 
and uh, her handwriting is really small, so it would be like the whole page is covered in like scribbles. <laughs> and my bag would not close because of how much paper. Yes, like, so I much old. paper. Yeah, so um, it's a good idea to go to techno. Uh, so I'm different. So last semester, I took a lot of notes on my iPad because I just got it and I really liked writing with it. And I was using Notability last semester and recorded the voices and everything. And uh, I did dif I did it differently this semester. What I did was instead of Notability, I started using OneNote, and I found that I liked that so much better because I have um, an iPad and I also have a laptop and a desktop. So what I like about Notability is that you don't have to. It's not like iCloud or Google Drive where you have to like upload it or like download it and stuff like that with one note you can directly write on it or type i love typing i switched to typing because it was so much faster i gave up trying to write <laughs> but whatever i write it's like real time transferring to all of my devices so i love that dude i might do that soon <laughs> i'm being serious because <laughs> nadine actually has like three laptops here <laughs> yeah. um yeah so it's so much more useful for me um i really liked how fast and convenient it is because sometimes i would go to the library and study and you know the library has like desktops there as yeah. well and so it was really nice just to, you know go to a different place and then you have google you can always just download it and bam your notes are right there um the only downside is that you can't voice record the um the lecture with OneNote um, when you're using an iPad, so you can't really do that. But if you bring your laptop, you can just, yeah. yeah. So I don't get the, if you saw my last video, you would know that I like to refer back to where I wrote the note and like what the professor said about it. Can't do that with um, OneNote. So you win some, you lose some. <laughs> All right, so how we were tested um, our second semester was basically the same as last semester. Yeah. So we had uh, four weeks of classes which starts our first exam week so our exam week runs from that wednesday to the following tuesday yeah usually after we have our exam week we have like a week and then we have to have our lab exams come up and so we don't get much time to like study for it as well but you have to kind of fit it all in and then after your lab exams you have about two weeks and then you have One. your second yeah, about one to two weeks, and then you'll have your second round of exams that you have to study for. So they are kind of almost back to back. You have to kind of stay on top of it. And then after that, you get your lab exams again, which is your final time for the lab exams. But then again, about one to two weeks after you get your finals. So you have to study for your final exams. And it's hectic. It is. It's really hard to keep track of everything that you're yeah. doing, but also when you're studying for those lab exams, you have to keep track of the other six classes that right. you're taking because guess what? We have those exams coming up. And if you get and, behind, uh -huh. oh, and they're comprehensive exams. They're not just yeah. you know a quiz. They're full on like all this information exam into one. Yeah. And what's uh, what's difficult about exam week is that you're even if you don't cram, like you're not trying to cram, you eventually have to cram because you don't really have time not to cram. You have to, well, if you're not studying for something else, you're studying for another class. Yeah. Like you really can't study as ahead as you would want to. Yeah. How I studied for the exams this semester was um, for classes like Ocular Anatomy Lab, um, I used Anki because you know it was really good to learn anatomy through that. And then I used that for Ocular Anatomy and I used it for Path. And I did really well in these classes because Anki was great at like refreshing the material over and over and over again. And I was able to like really grasp those um, concepts. And then I basically went back and just kind of studied everything that I wrote um, from start to finish. and I like you said, repetition is really good. So I would go back and like study it and then repeat it to myself multiple times, go back, look over it, make sure I said it right. And then again, learn new stuff or restudy stuff and go back and say the old stuff again. So I could keep it all in my head. Mm -hmm. um, my notes was basically what I ended up studying. Um, but yeah, that's how our second semester went. Um, I don't know about you, but it flew by really fast. Is for it? Me. We <laughs> only have three more years. I know it flew okay. by so so fast, for but in real. the moment it felt like it was never ending. Yeah. Um, it for was sure. definitely a lot, a lot, a lot more challenging than the first semester. For sure. Um, I felt really overwhelmed, and I just felt really unmotivated at some points. But I mean, I had really good friends and uh, people to like. Help motivate me. We helped each other out. We kind of yeah. encouraged and motivated each other to push through. Even the professors were always mm -hmm. helpful. They're always like, it's 
It's gonna seem hard, you guys are gonna have trouble, but you're gonna push through and you guys are gonna make it. And by the end of the day, you guys, by the end of the, the four years, everybody will probably be doctors. Like you will be doctors, so don't fret too much. You gotta make sure you make good friends, make sure you build up good relationships. Cause to be honest, like I wouldn't have been able to pull through being on my own. Like without you and like a bunch of other close friends, I would have probably felt like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore, but. First year was fun because of our relationships that we built. Um, First year was good. It was like, it was different. I wasn't used to how intense it was. Yeah. Yet it was very intense and relaxed at the same time because um, it's kind of fun struggling when, you know, when your friends around you are also struggling as well. Yeah, we can struggle together. Let's say it's first year. We are done. We're done. Um, Excited to see what the next two years hold at the end of the day. You will succeed. You will become a doctor. Never give up. Never give up. You will do it. <laughs> you will you do will. it. And honest, honestly, like, you will do it. Just mm-hmm. don't give up. Because don't give up. even and the people yeah. you might, you know, I didn't think I could push through all the way. But no, we're you, here. So we're <laughs> yeah, good. We're like, good. at points, I just felt like giving up. Yeah. And if you're a pre-optometry student and you're just a little unmotivated and you don't know if you can make it and, like, that OET is stressing you out, then you can do it. Like, we us. are here to tell you that we are, we're miserable, but we got through. <laughs> so you can get through You too. can do it, for sure, for sure. You'll All push right. through. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a, a shorter video than my previous one, but um, it was basically like the same thing. Hopefully second year will bring more content because you know we'll be getting to do more things. Definitely. And we can talk about competency and... Um, Actual ocular actual, pathology. I know, right? And then seeing patients yeah. and all that stuff. So that would be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, but that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you make it this far, then subscribe and like and uh, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Bye. Bye.